All right, so here is the new, well, new old Mitsubishi Eclipse I got here for the channel. Well, partially, uh, part of the reason I got it is because I'm probably selling the Mustang here. Um, but this was a quite a hoopty of an Eclipse here. It's a fixer-upper. Uh, runs and drives, but needs a lot of work. Um, I picked it up for 800 bucks, so actually 850. So there's a story on that. I heard about this car just word of mouth. Family member, uh, guy that he works with was putting it up for sale. I was told 800. dollars I texted him about it. Um, I don't know the next day or something like that. And uh, you know, I confirmed the price and everything. He says so 800 bucks, right? And he said, well, my cousin. Uh, he wants it for 900 for uh, next week and so he went from 800 to apparently because he had a $900 offer he said well uh, 850 so 850 dollars is what I actually ended up paying for it um, so it's in 2003 it's the GTS it is a five-speed manual so it's got the three liter V6 and unlike the GT model uh, this is a higher compression ratio and it has a dual intake runner system on it so um, I believe it's 10 to 1 compression ratio instead of 9 to 1 uh, regardless of what the actual numbers are it's actually ridiculously hard okay maybe not ridiculously to the guys that know these cars but I was having a little bit of difficulty finding the exact compression ratio between the GT and the GTS models, but I do believe the GTS has a higher compression ratio. And then, like I said, it's got this uh, dual runner intake system. I don't think the GT has that. Maybe it does. I'm not sure. I don't know a ton about these cars, um, but regardless, the GT model is only rated at 200 horsepower, as whereas this GTS model here is rated at 210. Uh, so this is the top of the line model, most powerful engine, all that. And as I said, I believe that was achieved by a uh, higher compression ratio and the dual intake runners. But if I'm wrong, regardless, it's got 10 more horsepower than the GT models. Um, so it's an 03. It's not in too bad a shape. Um, surprisingly, this is one of the pluses of the car. For one, the engine, it runs like an absolute gem. Transmission's okay. I might be able to service that and improve it a little bit. Um, but this only has 138,000 miles on it. So... Uh, you know, the interior is not perfect, but it's not bad. There's no like huge tears or anything. You know, usually you don't even get that. Usually the driver's seats are tore up and whatnot. So the interior is not too bad of shape. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not terrible, honestly. Um, that door handle there is a little faded. It's got these aftermarket wheels. Um, the one on the other side doesn't match, they are plastic dipped. I would prefer like a gloss black. I might be painting them. Um, it's completely stock except for this. It has a, I looked under, it has a Gretty cat back exhaust system on it. Um, you can even see, <laughs> this is how it was sold to me. Um, dirty. So she needs a bath as well. I'll see if I can show the engine here. So again, real low miles for the year. 138,000 miles. Engine is 100%. We got some rock chips on here that aren't too bad yet with some rust I need to take care of. Uh, there's, you know, little scratches and dents here and there. Got some rust on the core support there and whatnot. Shock tower's in pretty good shape though. So, you know, this is a, a Ohio car, so we do have rust here, but there's the engine bay there. And as you can see, she's not in too bad a shape. So like I said, it's all stock except for the catback exhaust system. So you got stock intake. It does have a cane and filter that's dirty as hell that I'm going to replace and or I'll be getting cold air intake or something. Um, you know, it's factory manifolds and everything. So completely stock under the hood. Um, like I said, I don't remember if the GT has it too or not, but this has the dual runner. So right here is part of the uh, actuating system. It flips this butterfly here at a certain vacuum. It'll pull the other runners open so it maximizes your high RPM uh, power there. So here on the other side, there's the wheel that doesn't match the other three. It's got a little bit of curb rash on it too. So three of them look like this. And there's that one. <laughs> and I think, uh, what were these? No, they're OZs. And these things are like 200 a piece when new. So it's actually pretty nice wheels on it. Just got some generic Cooper tires. The ones on the back are in okay shape. <laughs> The fronts are practically bald, so that was part of it too, is I gotta get some uh, new front tires at a minimum. Brakes are okay, but they do squeal a little sometimes. All well, the glass is good, no cracked windows or windshields or anything like that. I always hate that when you get a cheap car and like the front windshield has a crack. Uh, it's got a moonroof on it. I was told it works, but I'm probably not gonna test that theory out. 
power windows. I did try this one out on the test drive and it works okay, but it's kind of slow and sticky. Uh, but yeah, that's the Eclipse. So I think I'll just keep it short here with this one. I'll post a follow-up video uh, discussing everything that's wrong with it and everything I need to replace and whatnot. I would include it in this video, but I just started this channel up. So I'm trying to get some content out there to get the views coming in and whatnot. So we'll just make a little separate video for that. So I'll have that coming up. There is quite an extensive list other than just the few things I've mentioned here. There's quite a bit more. Uh, we got some leaks and whatnot. Um, some sub suspension work etc so we'll have that coming up soon we'll go over the list uh, everything wrong with my 800 dollars clips as they like to do uh, thereafter i'll probably post a video or two uh, fixing some of the stuff and just updates on anything else i do and i do plan to do at least a few modifications like i want to do something with the air box maybe get a cold air intake or something like that looking into uh aluminum crank pulley something like that i mean this thing's just kind of a beater but i do want to have a little bit of fun with it so and that's kind of what i've always done i like getting cars and at least doing a few bolt-ons just to make them a little better a little more fun to drive so uh, with that thanks for watching and i hope to catch you on the next one